Oh, it's going. Hi, my name's Ali Cassetti. I own yours real estate team. I'm here with Tiffany Walker. She owns Adeline and Grace Intimates and Adeline and Grace Photography. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Tiff. Hello, everybody. Um, I have been doing photography since, oh man, 2007. And uh, this coronavirus has changed things up, but it's actually, I, I, I try and always see the positives. So um, I am typically a in-studio photographer, meaning um, with this virus that's happening right now, people can't come to me because um, we're, we're stuck in quarantine. So we've, we've gotten a little crafty behind the scenes here <laughs> at Aligning Grace. Well, I mean, that's great. Just the fact that you're willing to go and get crafty, especially in your line of business, like that's not that easy to do, right? So you really thought outside the box here. Yes. Um, well, I, I thought outside the box and a lot of my photography colleagues have as well. So um, one of the things that I um, recently just launched, I did a handful of them last week and um, I, I can't take credit for it, but um, you know, everybody's living on Zoom nowadays. And with my line of business, I do um, predominantly boudoir photography. So if you do not know what boudoir photography is, um, think Victoria's Secret photo. Photos, um, but for either just yourself or you could share them with everybody if you wanted to. Um, so obviously in the middle of a pandemic, we're, we're not doing VR photos because we're not taking pictures. So I've actually <laughs> adapted a little bit um, along with some other photographers and we've been doing Zoom boudoir sessions. So um, just like how <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know, I've got to ask, like, details. How does that work? No. <laughs> like, how does this happen? Okay, so typically at one of my sessions, what happens is you come in, you get hair and makeup done, there's champagne, there's mimosas, if that's something you want to take part in. But, um, you know, you, you have the luxury of looking through the closet of all the stuff that we have. We've got shoes, we've got accessories, things like that. Um, and then in person, typically, like, I'm telling you exactly what to do, like how to pose, how to move, how to look better, um, how to show off your um, best assets, and then also to hide anything that you might not like. So um, obviously with Zoom sessions, it's a little bit different, but it's actually kind of exciting because... You know, I've been in my space for years and I know every nook and cranny in my space and then all of a sudden I'm in your bedroom. <laughs> uh, which can totally go so many different ways. Um, but like my my biggest philosophy and one of the reasons that I love doing boudoir photos so much is because the way women feel when they see their pictures and they're like, oh my God, that's me. And they feel so good about themselves. And like, I know, I know a lot of people, I'm sure whatever your feed looks right, looks like right now, I'm sure a lot of people are um, drinking and eating. Um, okay. I've, joked, I've joked about the quarantine 15 um like, <laughs> like, like I myself am uh beyond the 15 point like just keeping it real here but you know people's people's uh their confidence like goes down am I right like you know if you're wearing pajamas every day you're not feeling the best like that's my assumption I'm I'm feeling pretty solid on it um and so the the cool thing about these sessions is like you probably feel not so great about yourself, but then as I'm directing you and you're seeing what the photos look like in the end, and granted, they're screenshots, they're not the best quality, but when you actually see like, oh my gosh, it's still me, you know, like I'm still in there, um, because I've, I've struggled with that myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, who is that person, I don't know you right now, but you know, if you see yourself and you feel confidence, and like, you know, it's just, I feel like you get those baby steps of feeling better and just, um, you get the snowball effect or like the butterfly effect, you know, one thing happens and another good thing happens and, you know, like magic doesn't happen overnight, but if it's like a slow momentum and, um, you start to feel better in the middle of a pandemic, like, I don't know, I think it's a good thing. So <laughs> definitely a good thing. I mean, people are having a really hard time right now. For one, we don't like things we're not used to, right? Mm -hmm. change comes a little bit and especially with change and uncertainty comes a little bit of stress and anxiety and things that we might not normally just be accustomed to and we're nervous we don't know what's going on and it's so easy to get inside of our heads especially when we're locked in and to be able to bring them back is huge it's absolutely yeah. huge 
Yeah, so my hope is if people can see themselves, you're still there, you're still yourself, you're just, we're gonna really get back in a little bit, um, that, you know, in the future, if they, if, if you've done a session of this nature and you felt that good, like what could happen if you actually came in the studio? If you actually were in person, you know, like the like the possibilities are are endless with that. So, um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to seeing the like baby steps for people. So, oh, that's uh, awesome. yeah. And you uh, said you did five shots yet last week. Uh, yes. Um, one of them was a headshot shoot. So, okay. um, you know, they were wearing clothes, but um, <laughs> it's um it's different. It is um it's a different way of directing for me, which is great because I feel like I haven't been creative at all. Um, it's making me think outside of the box, which is good. So I'm having fun with it along with my little tushy Tuesday booty challenge that, um, that I threw out there to, to the people in my boudoir group. So talk to me about a tushy challenge. What is this tushy challenge? Um, everybody loves booty. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> so, so we we have this thing in my boudoir, my boudoir group called Tushy Tuesday. Um, and honestly, if you go on Instagram and look for it, it's a lot of boudoir photographers do it. Um, but I, myself, I, I love fitness. Um, I've been into fitness, um, for the past few years now and a lot more so in the past year. Um, cause I was training for a fitness competition and then Rona. And, um, but with that being said, like I've always seen like the power of how I feel after a workout and just having the endorphins flowing. So um, since everybody loves booty, I thought, okay, if I could take people's minds off of all of the stuff that's happening for like 15 minutes, like we'll see what happens. So um, I have this 30 day booty challenge that I put together and it's, I'm not going to lie. It's completely hokey and I, I think that's the best part about it because everything right now is like is like bootstrapped together am I right <laughs> right seriously people are making it work you know like I've seen so many of um, my small business friends whether they're you know local or across the United States that are just trying to like piece it together and like I, that's a part of the American spirit right um, so <laughs> My email series, it's gifs of me, like, doing butt exercises. It's really funny. So how many days just, in are you for your challenge right now? Um, I think we're on day, like, 17 or 18. Um, I might not be the best with email admin. And um, I thought I um, paused it and then unpaused it. And apparently I didn't unpause it. <laughs> <laughs> but we're only human, and it's okay. For it sure. We're so, all learning so, here. So now, there was, there was a break for the booty challenge and then it started up again. <laughs> Are you doing a booty check-in? You know, we haven't done a booty check-in. I'm just, I, I probably should have people, you know, take some, take some photos, but you know, the thing with my, with my sessions just in general is you can share anything or you don't have to share anything at all because you, you don't want to, you don't have to, and I'm, you know, not going to force anybody to do anything you don't want to do. So it's all, it's all about being comfortable. So. Definitely. Um, and so I, I, I myself have my butt before photos, so we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> Love it. So if yeah. we wanted to get in on this booty challenge, how would we do so? Um, I will drop a link in the comments of this video um, that has the sign up. And basically every single day, you're going to get an email from me with a GIF. And I think the very first one, remember Seinfeld by George Costanza? like pose where he's like on his side like this yes <laughs> the very first the very first one i'm like in there and i'm like hi guys but it's a gif so <laughs> oh my gosh so if you just the very first email you'll get and they'll get the same email or a new workout you know every 24 hours or so and disclaimer I'm not a fitness instructor or anything like that. Like, I just want people to be motivated and to have something to take their minds off of the, the mess that's happening right now. So definitely. Yeah. And worst case scenario, if you get a booty out of it, great. Um, you know, you got your mind off of it. Awesome. So yeah. right? nobody's complaining about getting a new great booty at all, especially if we're stuck at home, right? Like what else do oh. we do? <laughs> I know. <right? laughs> so fill the time wisely. <laughs> Seriously. No, that's great. I'm so glad to hear that you've been able to pivot your business because honestly, in a business like yours, like that's not easy to do. 
So really that you've taken the extra step in multiple ways to not just one, keep your business running, but two, to make sure that your clients and customers are staying happy and healthy and safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's always what I want. I always want people to feel good about themselves and um, save their sanity, which I think everybody needs right now. <laughs> Especially my moms. Like I've always told my moms, I'm like, you can, you can do this while, well, maybe not the boudoir session portion, but they can do the booty challenge with their kids. There's, there's videos of me on Facebook with my daughter, my two-year-old in my arms, like doing squats. Like you can incorporate your kids. There's no excuse. <laughs> it actually makes it better, right? Added weight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Extra 26 and pounds, two-year-old. She's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, and for our moms, really, like you've got the kids at home all day. You're doing all the homeschooling. Use it as PE time. You're going to have to knock that out somewhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. Get the energy out. <laughs> No, I love it. I love it. Well, what should we know about you and your business um, that we might not know already? That is a good question. Um, we are all female owned. Um, between all of us, <laughs> this is going to sound so weird coming out. We've got nine babes um, between myself, um, my retoucher, my work wife. Uh, we've got hair and makeup artists. They're all local um, and they almost all of them are mommies. Some of them are fur mommies. Um, but we've got 11 kids between all of us and um, three of them actually have special needs. So anytime anybody does a shoot with us, like they're directly impacting um, all these little families that we have. So um, it's, I feel like it's a, it's a feel good thing. It's a feel good thing for us. And then you know, them as well. They're, they're walking out feeling different. So, um, because of that, a lot of our, um, a lot of our clients that come in actually do happen to be moms. So, um, I'm not quite sure like how it keeps happening, but it's always moms of multiples or like two or three or more. And I, I don't know if they've just gotten to the point where they're like, I need something for myself or what when they get to kid three. Um, but I have a lot of moms that come in that are like, I need to do something for myself because, um, you know, they take care of everybody else in their life except for themselves. So, right. Um, That's such a good point to touch on because a lot of times when you hear about these shoots, you hear about them as like a wedding gift for um, your husband when you're going to get yeah. married or something like that. But really, that's not the only time, if not any time, to take these photos. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. And that. Yeah, and that's that's how it started. It started as a wedding gift, and that was originally my market, um, and then expanded into mommies, and then um, you know with my um, workout stuff that has, I've been doing the past few years, then it morphed into women that have lost a lot of weight and that are coming in to celebrate themselves. Um, like I had a lady that came in who lost over a hundred pounds, and she came in to say like basically hell yeah I did this um you know and what's what's really cool is like at the end of the shoot you get a chance to say like what you want retouch if anything and um so that's actually something that's a little bit different um that I do is at the end of the shoot you actually see yourself unretouched um and you pick out your photos the same day so a lot of people would think that that's really intimidating and they're like oh my god I'm see myself like number one they've they've reached out to say like I want to do these photos and then then they get half naked with somebody they don't know and then now they're going to see themselves like out of the camera but it's really cool because they see themselves and they're like oh my god and I'm like and if you want to look better like we can smooth things out but like it's, it's whatever you want but like with my fitness um, um, moms or babes that have lost a lot of weight you know they've got extra skin or they got stretch marks and I'm like if you want to take it out you can if you want to leave it you can um, you know I've had women that their next step of their weight loss journey is actually to have the surgery to remove the loose skin um, and they want to see what it look, what it will look like. And so I'm like, great, let's do that. And if you've got tiger stripe, stripes or C-section scars, like that's part of their story and they want to keep that in. So, um, yeah, it's funny. It's like, I've got brides, I've got fitness people, I've got moms trying to get their mojo back. And then, um, when one person does a shoot, they tell their friends and then it's like, <laughs> it's like, why didn't I do that first? <laughs> right. 
Well, that's one of the best parts about working with our local community and our local businesses is being able to be excited about something like this, like seeing ourselves as ourselves and being able to mm -hmm. share that with our friends. Like who doesn't yeah. want that? Especially yeah. in a day and age where everything's about like filters on our phones and changing this and doing that and making this look better. And it's like, wait, you can go to a professional like yourself and feel absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. without right. any of those things or if you want to take the next step and include those things you can right options yeah um and actually with that being said when this whole thing started i created a how to look good on a zoom meeting pdf um so if you want me to share that i totally can yes um, because, please <laughs> because hello all we're doing is zoom meetings right now we're doing zoom happy hours zoom boudoir shoots these right here <laughs> Man, so I'm where were you 30 Zooms ago? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but the next Zooms are going to be amazing. So <laughs> That is so funny. Can you post that in the group? I will post it in the group, yeah. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me on. Thank you. It was so much fun to learn about you and your business. Mm -hmm. For us. Yeah. Oh my gosh, girl, it has been a blast, an absolute blast. Like there's nothing I would rather be doing with my time right now than supporting our local community and being able to meet everybody. Yeah. And the comfort of your own home. <laughs> right? Seriously. <laughs> So, you know, just, just, I, I know, I know we're wrapping it up right now, but I have to share, um, one of my new year's goals or resolutions this year was, um, now that my daughter is older, her nickname's Hurricane. So if that gives you any inclination, um, I, I didn't do any networking, um, in-person meetings in the past two years because she's, she's, she's a difficult child. And so, um, my, my resolution this year was to actually do more networking in person. And I had all these networking things like on the calendar in person and then all happened. But you know, it's interesting is I've actually been able to do even more so with the Zoom meetings. And it's actually, I know it's not like a blessing in disguise, but you know what I mean? Um, right. I've been able to meet more business, um, business people as well as business women um, because there's so many more Zoom options now and everybody's really understanding when there's a screaming kid running in the background because everybody else has one too. So <laughs> <laughs> it's all working out. <laughs> it is, there's been a lot of blessings out of this, truthfully. Like, don't get me wrong, the entire situation is just a nightmare and nobody's excited about it at all and I can't wait to get through it but ultimately there are so many bits and pieces that we're going to be able to pull out this and just bring forward into the rest of our lives so totally agree with that definitely love it love that you're embracing it you're doing phenomenal I can't wait to see you on the other side of this <laughs> but really we all open up I'm going to come find you I've got to meet you face to face <laughs> well we can do a Zoom session too hey <laughs> Awesome. Have a good afternoon. You too. Thank you.